Hello guys, in this video I want to show you some more complex scenarios, but still with using a basic Cypress commands. In this case I want to show you how to click on link or button, especially in this example I am going to show you how to click on a link with a specific text, to demonstrate you the power of Cypress selectors. So let's go to our text editor and we can delete all these steps because we will be creating new scenarios. And let's create it. And let me just show you what website will we be using. And it's books to scrape.com. And this is basically a demo website where you can train and practice uh, test automation and web scraping. These products and everything are not real. Everything is just a pure demo. So if you want to train your test automation skills, or maybe web scraping skills, this website is good to go. So I'm gonna grab the URL and I'm gonna create a step, shoot, load, books, website. And you already know how to do it. We need site.visit function. And let's paste the URL and also the we can set the timeout but it's optional but in our case let's just do it so we will do timeout and I'm gonna give it again 10 seconds and I think you should all already remember whenever you visit a website you should always check at least the URL so don't forget to do it so sci.url should and it should include and not, now let's add the value and i think it's good that we for example grab this index.html to verify that we are on the home page after we have loaded the website so let's open it And I think it's very important to always test your code instead of writing uh, multiple lines of code and then checking it back because I think it's more important to do small incremental steps and then check that you are doing it in the right way. It will save you a lot of time with remaking all the steps from scratch if you do a lot of mistakes. So run simple spec.js. And as you can see, our web page is successful loaded and our assertion is also OK. So let's close it and we can move on with the next steps. And let's create one more test step. And I'm going to name it. Should click on travel category. And let me show you what I mean. If you look here on the left, you can immediately see that we have a list of categories. And in our case, I want to tell the Cypress to click on the link with the name of travel. So how can we do it? Let's inspect it. And as you can see, it basically is a href inside the link with a specific text of travel. So what do we want to click on? First, we want to call sci.get. Again, you should already know this function because we need to get an element. And which one? Of course, it's your age as your age ref. Now, what do you want to do with it? We want to grab an age ref which actually contains a value. In our case, it's the text travel. So let's do contains and let's type the text travel. And the last step is to perform an action. In our case, we want to click on it. And Cypress offers us a simple function called click. So dot click. And save it. And as you can see, the Pretier has auto-formatted it in a nice way. 
and of course there is much more than click you can choose double click and of course right click if needed but in this case we are completely okay with just simple click and what happens after we click on it i think we should verify that the click was successful so if we actually simulate the click you can see that we are navigated to this section of books with travel and what we can do is to simply grab this element which is h1 and check that it contains the text travel because if you click for example on mystery you see that the h1 is containing the text mystery so right below here we want to sci dot get we want to get the h1 and we want to call the function contains and we want to verify what it should contains in our case it's travel so we can save it let's just run the cypress again and let's run the simple spec and as you can see it has successfully clicked on the travel and we are on the travel website and our assertion is also correct and we can see it here we get an href with the text of travel and we have clicked on it then the new page was loaded and we get the h1 element which is highlighted on the right side and we check that it contains the text travel so i think that's it this is how you can actually click on the links or buttons in cypress it's very easy because you can combine these selectors so you can get for example age with specific text and then you can just do the action on it so this is the real power of cypress selectors so i think that's it and we can move to the next commands because there is so much more we can learn about the cypress so see you there